Quebec Cave, Robin. G'day YouTube, down to bricks here. What you building? Hey, <laughs> we've got the awesome Batman classic TV series Batcave today and doesn't that just look sweet? Of course, it's a 2016 release. It is set 76052, has a whopping 2,526 pieces, nine awesome minifigs and the price, while well, the price is a little bit scary, let's have a go at this. 270 US, 250 Euro, 230 Pound, it is 330 Canadian, 400 Australian and a whopping 500 New Zealand. Before a Batman nut like myself, that price wasn't going to stop me and I am stoked with this set. So let's jump in now, check out the awesome figs and then we're going to go over the whole set. And the first cab off the rank, we're going to start with Robin, Batman and Catwoman with accessories. And Lego have done an excellent job with the printing. Robin looks awesome. Loving the print down onto the legs, the dual molded plastic arms. The leg print on Batman is very good. The torso is what I really like with the gold belt buckle and the level of detail inside that belt buckle and the painting on the cowl as well is very good. And just to show you that detail inside the belt buckle, it's very cool, isn't it? And the better look at the cowl. And I have to say the Batman is my second favourite minifig out of all these awesome minifigs. But you'll just have to hang on to see what my number one is. And I really love the torso print on Catwoman. And the hairpiece with the ears is very cool too. And taking a look from the back at the rear torso prints. And alternate face prints. Now on to Dick Grayson, Bruce Wayne and Alfred Pennyworth. Great to get these minifigs. Really like the torso print on Bruce Wayne and the face print on Alfred. Nothing too special on the back of these guys, but we do get alternate face prints. <laughs> How good do these guys look? We get Penguin, the Joker and the Riddler, all with their accessories, very cool. And without the accessories, we can see the awesome printing on the Penguin's torso, really like that. Love the addition of the purple top hat. Skipping over the middle, we'll go to the Riddler, and I actually think he's probably the weakest of these minifigs, but my favorite minifig out of all of these has to be the Joker in the pinstripe suit. I mean, he is very cool, isn't he? Look at that face expression. It is just awesome. I really don't think Lego could have done a better job with Joker. Let's go and check that face out a little closer. Now that is some great printing. Again, nothing too spectacular on the rear torso prints, but we do get some alternate face prints. And again, the Joker print is awesome. So before we get into the Mena and the Cave, let's have a look at some of these smaller builds. So we get the classic lie detector here, the recording and a set of drawers. So here's a likely lot of villains and we've got Joker in his lab here mixing up the laughing gas. And one of the cool things we get here are the printed one by one tiles for the jar tops. And onto the vehicles we get the very cool bat bike and sidecar with the rear bat wing and even has a spare wheel. And on to the classic bat chopper and doesn't this thing look cool? It is a sticker on the back wing. There's stickers on each side as well, but the actual windscreen piece is printed. And I look from the front, I mean it is awesome, isn't it? And from the back and a closer look at that print. And in comes Batman and Robin in the classic Batmobile. How awesome is this? And it's probably my favourite thing of this whole set. 
The design on this thing is very well done. They've really hit the nail on the head. The bat symbol on the side is a sticker. But the little bat hubcaps are actually printed. And check it out from the front with stud shooters and all. And from the back, and let's take a look in the boot. Check out all those goodies. And checking out the inside, we have the emergency bat turn lever. We have the classic bat phone and the detector scope. And that is all decorated with stickers. Let's move on to the helipad and the garage. Now there's not a whole lot going on here. You can fit the Batmobile in there. You can park the Bat bike and sidecar. But its main function is to hold the Batcopter. And it's just detailed with some slope and rock pieces all around. There is some exposed pillars. Now to join all three components up, you do need some of these pillars exposed just so it, it sits in nice and flush. And from around the other side, and this is completely covered in, that's the last side. Let's pop up on top now and check out the helipad. Okay, and there it is. And even though it's a sticker, it does look awesome, doesn't it? Now what LEGO normally does with big stickers like this is we actually get it into stickers. And then you have a seam down the middle, and it never quite lines up. So what I've done with these two big tiled plates is I've actually, if I show the sticker sheet, I've that's where the seam should be. I've actually cut that center section out and put it over the gap in the two tiles. And that just completes the full circle. And while that is quite fiddly to do and line up, I think in the end it gives it a much better look. Okay, on to the main section of the Batcave, and it does look really good, doesn't it? Let's swing it around and have a look from the front side, and just have a quick look at the side. It's all hollowed out from using the big, ugly rock pieces. And here we are from the front, and it really does look good. I love this part of the build. Now, there's not a whole lot to say about it, to be honest. Let's just go in and have a closer look at some of the details. So we just have more of the jagged rock look to it, which is really cool. They better watch out because Catwoman has snuck into the back cave. It's a very cool sticker there. I don't think it's focusing on that too good, but just says, keep off atomic pile, super high, high voltage. So very cool sticker. And just to keep going down, lots of great detail right down to the main control center, which is just stickers. And on each side of the back cave, we have more high tech computer wear, which just is all decorated with stickers. Now that is all tucked away in there and it's quite tight. There's not a lot of room around there. It is pretty easy to remove if you want to take it out to have a bit of a play. Well, I said the Batmobile is my favourite part of this set, but my favourite building is by far Wayne Manor. Now, I just think this looks fantastic. There's no other word for it. I really love the design, the way they constructed it. I think the colours they use is just perfect and I really, really love it. And looking from the front here is definitely my favourite part of this building itself. The study is awesome as well, but I think I have to give the nod just to the front of the building. Let's take a closer look. So starting up at the top, we get a cat, we get some grey parrots, we get a TV antenna, we get some random tiling for the roof. We even get a gutter, which is a nice touch. I really like the design for the curtains here. It looks really good. The colors they've used, I like the colors. Even though they've got exposed studs down here, I really think that adds to the overall look and allows you to attach minifigs walking up the wall or to attach some foliage like they have. But I think it is top notch. So now we're going to give it a spin around and this is where some of the flaws for the set start to appear. We really have some exposed Technic beams here which don't look the best. 
when you join them all up they don't stand out as much but there's still some that you can quite clearly see that's exposed and I would have liked to have a little bit of extra bricks just to cover that up a look from the other side shows the same thing and the look from the back well I actually think this is pretty good obviously we get a big exposed section of plate there which a little bit more slope bricks on there probably would have looked a lot better just to give it a more rugged appearance they did try and do that down around the bottom section but I, yeah I just think it's a little bit exposed there and a few extra bricks um, for the price we paid I don't think it would have hurt to chuck in another you know 30 40 odd slope bricks just to help sort of patch it up a little bit if you want to do a a full job of that it's obviously going to take a lot more brick than that but a few extra bricks i think would have been nice there i'm keen as mustard to get in to that study for a close look but we're gonna start from the bottom so you can see there's a bit of slope brick and rock pieces there just to give it more of a cave look we can see the poles that batman and robin come sliding down but then as we go up above that, it is quite plain. Until we get to the top, we've got all the bats hanging. That's really cool. And on to the study, which is just fantastic. Let's go in and check it out. Now, how good does that study look? It is great, isn't it? I mean, I said the front was my best, but honestly, it is really hard to pick because the study is so cool. So we have some trophies up the back. We have portraits of Ma and Pa. There's a trophy fish above the bookcase. But the real catching thing is a printed wallpaper brick. I mean, that is a fantastic piece. And I really hope Lego produce more of that. So some extras, we get a globe. There's the desk, and how cool is that? The bat phone. There's the desk pad, which is a sticker. And pushing back the bus reveals a button to open the secret bookcase door. And there we have the poles for Dick and Bruce. Named and all. Very cool. So there you have it, the classic Batcave. Now you guys already know what I'm thinking. I love the set. Now, don't get me wrong, it definitely has a few little flaws with it. It is very expensive as well. But honestly, for a crazed Batman fan, I am stoked to have this set. But I want to know from you guys, what do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Or do you just totally love it? I really want to hear from you guys. Belt it down all in the comments. We can have a bat chat about it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. But I know what I'm up to. I'm about to go have a play with that classic Batmobile. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. So what do you think of this set, son? Very good and I like Batman. You like and Batman, do you? What do you like about this set the most? Um, Batman and the car. And him. Batman's helicopter. Yeah. And I love that thing. You love the building too, do you? And that. Oh, what's that up there? A cat. A cat. Very cool. So what do you reckon? We have a play with it now? Yeah, Daddy! Alright, let's play. Yeah!